the only <laughs> Todd Bubba Horwitz of BubbaTrading.com in Chicago. One of a kind, and uh, he has some great information on his website, by the way, BubbaTrading.com. You really need to check that out. Uh, in fact, he does a lot of educational seminars around the country training young folks about uh, risk management, and I think that's pretty awesome, Todd. Thank you so much, and I, and I enjoy it. I think that that's the, the I think that's the best we can do for our youth, but for everybody, is to understand why things happen and how to adjust. Because nobody teaches that in the textbooks. So I think it's a it's a great thing, and it's kind of what we're seeing in the, in the cattle space here now, Marlon. I think we we've seen I think we've seen the lows over time here. I, I think we we put in a pretty good base here. Now again, it doesn't mean we won't go lower, but from a from a technical standpoint and from a mathematical standpoint, I look at this as a great buying opportunity on any dip. In the, in the live cattle, I, I think we look at, you know, 109, 110. Now we're trading, the last I looked at a little over 112 here. I think we're going to continue to work our way higher. I think in the feeders, you've got the same action coming. We've kind of found that base, and we've made higher lows over the last couple of weeks that show me that I think we're really at the bottom end of these ranges. So I'm looking to be a buyer of these products. I think that we do see higher prices. I think that these will work themselves out and start to move higher. I think the only concern in the livestock space is the hog market. Market, which is at 78 level in August, they're like hanging on with their fingernails. Uh, if they can't hold here, I think we, we see significantly lower prices there. I think they go to 73 or 72 now. This seems to be about the exact opposite of what we were talking about a month ago. Absolutely. We could, we could not remember. We had some key levels. We were stuck in that range. And once we broke to the downside and now 78, we, we you know, again, we can hold 78. I mean, you know, 77 and change is the same as 78 as far as I'm concerned. If we can hold here and pop, then I think you're, you've got a chance. But they look weak. They look like they want to break. And with beef down so low, I think that takes away some of the business from the hogs as well. Todd, I had an analyst uh, speculate a couple days ago. They said if you can't get 77 to hold, they were afraid it could test like 71 one and a half or something like that. What do you think about that? I think he, I think he's probably right. I think that's, you know, I said 72. So that's the right number. And again, if you look out into the future, Marlon, we know that typically this time of year, we go out into the backwardation and hogs are coming down a race. There's already some natural pressure there to begin with. So we're at a real key spot. Now, obviously, if some things would turn around in the economy and we could see some better things happening already, we might get a demand. But when you got real low beef prices and hog prices are not is actually in cheapest comparisons in the past, I think that could create some pressure. I think that's what we need to watch. All right, let's run through them and uh, let's walk through the uh, live cattle trade first. And on the uh, market right now, we currently have August down 70 at 111.75. Uh, so we're about a dollar, uh, well, now about a dollar 30 off of our high of the day. We have October down 64 at 109.98 on the day, December down 72. On the feeder cattle side, as we switch over there, we have the August down just 28 at 140.90. However, I do have to caution you that that is way over. Uh, let's see, that'd be over $2, almost $2.5 off our high of the day, just doing the quick math here. September now down 30 at 139.90, October down 43 cents. Now, the most weakness in the feeders happens to be in the deferred contracts. And that's kind of interesting, too. On the uh, lean hog trade, we'll look over there. We have the August contract now down 42 at 77.40. October down 83, though, at 64.55. And that spread continues to widen out between August and December. Todd, great to visit with you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, sir. Have a great day out there. Thanks, Marlon. I appreciate it. Todd Bubba Horwitz with BubbaTrading.com in Chicago. Amazing how far that spread can widen out in the hog trade. Very cool.